So for the design, let's first start with the table. For the table, we are using we are going to use some uh, uh, some icons. So we have to install React icons that we just have to look for. Let's just is that why? Good. And here we can start to to create the table. First, we use the simple table in HTML, and after we use the uh, heads. We create a row, and we create we create some yes yeah. Let's say how much we need. Maybe four, five. Let's say four. And with that, yeah. Now we just need to create our body. Our body. Same logic. We create a row. And if you create a row, you have to create the cells that will match the ones from above. And this is the simplest way. Let me just reduce the indented space. You can see better. I don't know which was the best, but I prefer that one. Okay, so let's uh, install the React icons because we are going to use. Let's see how it is. Uh, we don't have any information now. But no worries. We are in the front end, right? You can see here. Okay, npm install React icons. Let's just populate these uh, first because we also need these. It's going to be checkbox if i remember correctly it's going to be the to do that one states and data created let us forget another one you also need some actions okay this is our simple Let's say check true to do lorem for just create some lore ipsum for us. Here we need test that use let's say done that created let's say twenty twenty two for of these and the actions let's just write the actions okay so this is populated let me see if we have installed the react icons okay perfect okay we can start with making this table prettier using a tailwind so we just to use like some basic less okay so for here let's create place name with okay web twelve as you can see is being but sorry with and ninety two percent and let's create the max width For Excel. Okay, so create our maximum width to 56 RAM. We just just to do one thing. Because we are also want to create is responsive. So let's code here and visualize the just in that place okay perfect i like to go that way because the grand 
visualize on the smartphones here and on laptop in that area. And I also want to make this responsive. Okay, next thing, let's start to give some borders on this. Paste the one border below. We do this and let's create the color black. It is black. Okay, it's okay. Uh, let's just comment this to the form for now. Go. Mm -hmm. For now, let's also give some padding top. X not EY. Just not be on top of this. Actually, let's give more padding to the center. Yeah, it is too much now. EY 32, maybe. Yeah. So you can see that better without being glue at the top. Okay, keep going. Now uh, let's just do some styling on these on the header. And let's do class name. Let's decrease the text. Yeah. Size font semi bold. Tracking white. Yeah. And let's better that left. Okay, we just uh, we just dial that first cell. And so what you have to do now. Mm -hmm. Used to copy the same class names for all the cell billows. This, 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 and this. Okay, good. I like. Let's keep uh, formatting below now. Let's see how it's okay. So same principle. Let's starting maybe with some padding. P3. The point okay. And let's also make the test smaller. X SM. Good. Here it's good, here it's good, good. Okay, so now let's import some icons with the, the icons. Because here instead of the actions, we went to the icons, so we can click here or indeed and here on delete. So we have to look for that icons. For that we just go here, right icons, just delete. Okay, and since internet was slowing, I just retrieved all of them when not recording. But the thing is uh, you come here, you find for example the edit, we want the edit node and uh, that one and the ID node. And we uh, import from here from right icons. So the only thing that you have to make sure is that two initials are the same as uh, our um, our icon. So so this is what we have. We have outline delete, edit node, the checkbox, and the checkbox online blank because the checkbox are also going to be used here. And so let's start with the actions. 
Okay, so with directions we go. That's great. The span and with the span we input here the edit node. Which is here very small at the moment and let's create another span but this time for the delete okay so yeah it is here but you have to give some styling okay let's think so for the styling think we have to go here and let's increase the font font medium let's also prevent them align side by side so let's create a grid for column and let's items center okay let's give a margin top mm. okay good enough for now so what we want to do is insert here the checkbox same principle and the offline checkbox and after the change from checkbox to blank checkbox you are going to do after the conditional statement on the logic okay instead of two let's create another span okay there it is our checkbox this there also give some pointer on the cursor so to do this we can I'm here in our span in line block and cursor pointer. Okay, is that why you can also do the same for here? But here we don't need the inline if text guys. We let's increase this small. Okay. Okay, a little bit better here. Okay, and here we also want to do some personal edition. Let's add a badge. Okay, that way, maybe and we can also the number span saying done plus name is going to be equal to B. text this on medium
Wayne. Green and red. Okay, what you want to do if it's complete, we give a blackout green, but if it's not complete, we give a background of red. Okay, for now, this is good. Let's just give uh, some errors to see on the table. We'll appear. Two, three, four. Okay, yeah, this looks good enough. After this, we are create, going to create some models. When we click here, we can actually edit. And after, we're going to give some functionality on the table. But yeah, this is how we create a table using uh, Tailwind. But the best thing that we're still going to do is to add some functionality on this later.